Once again, you should have done this on your own first. Make sure that's true before you watch this. I'll call the triangles area A, because I have a triangular prism here. I'll call this bottom face B. Uh, this one over here, I'm going to call it C. And this one right here, I'm going to call D. So let me sketch these. Um, area A is a right triangle with a base of, I didn't see it right away, you know, because I'm looking here and I don't see it, but I see it over here, 12, and a height of 5, that's right here. Face B, the rectangle, the bottom face there, has a base of 13 and a height of 5. Uh, face C, this this small face over here. I see it's got a height of 5. I see this, but I don't see the, the base. It's because I have to look all the way over here for that dimension. So that one's actually a square. I know it doesn't look like a square the way I draw it, uh, the way I drew it, but as long as I've got the right dimensions, we're okay. And base, uh, the rectangle, not base, the rectangle D, that face, uh, this rectangle is a uh, 12 by 5. So I've drawn them inconveniently. We'll do the area of triangle A first. That's one half base times height because it's a triangle. So one half multiplied by 12 multiplied by 5. Half of 12 is 6. And 6 times 5 is 30. So the area of face A is 30. Uh, I really didn't think ahead when I wrote these. I'm going to crowd my work, which I tell you not to do. Sorry. The area of B is 13 times 5. The area of B is 65. I'll circle my areas as I find them to hopefully make this more understandable. The area of face C, the square, is 5 times 5. The area of face C is 25. The area of rectangle D is 12 by 5, which is 60. So we you know we did have three different rectangles as we thought, but uh, two triangles that are the same. So my surface area formula, the only congruent faces I have are the two triangles. So 2 times area A plus 1 times area C, which is just area C. Why would I do C before B? I'm doing this late. I'm, I'm getting tired if I'm being honest. Hopefully it's not a problem. Too much of a problem. Area face B plus one area C plus one area D. So the two triangles would be two thirties or 60 altogether for the area of the two triangles. Uh, the area of B was 65. Area C was 25. That was our square and area D was 60. So 60 plus 65 plus 25 plus 60. This is 125 and another 25 is 150 and 60 is 210. The units would be miles squared because it's a total area. It's a sum of areas and areas are two dimensional. Um, my strategy with this lesson was to in the mandatory zoom together develop a good understanding of what surface area even is. And then in these notes, which I hope you've done uh, thoroughly, was to give you several examples of different types of polyhedrons and give you a, a good framework for showing your work and keeping track of your work. Tomorrow you're going to do a learning opportunity, an assignment on this, on your own referring to the notes. And then you're going to grade it using a Nearpod with videos, and then you're going to report the grade to me. Okay, thanks a lot. Class dismissed.